Do you have the boyfriend, Anna? Nein. You have nine boyfriends? Nicht nine, nine. Hey, you know how most of the girls get at the mink? No. The same way a mink gets a mink. Get it? Funny, huh? Eh? Funny, no. Buenas noches, señorita. Good evening, Miss Courtney. I am not Miss Courtney, you are. I should be obliged if while you are in this school you would all use the vernacular. Oh, dearie me, I cannot be doing that. Why not? I'm not knowing what it is. Well, it simply means that you should all speak in English. Now, I don't want to hear one more foreign word in this class. Do you understand? Buonasera, signorina. Good afternoon, Fritten Courtney. Buonasera, Clea Courtney. Good morning, Mademoiselle Courtney. Good afternoon, Fräulein Courtney. Now, where is Miss Brown? Is she not here? I can see that. Yeah, but I couldn't help it tonight. I was held up. Oh, blimey. You have been muggered? I mean, I was delayed at the jewellers. Miss Courtney's clock is still being engraved, but it will be here later. <laughs> Jolly good. Custom are given pleasant and not done in democratic republic. Looked upon as bourgeois practice, I like holiday and Christmas. And in China, a heavy day is like any other day, except on May Day. Then we celebrate a creation of socialist state. Save your political lectures for the soapbox, Fu Wong, would you? You tell him, Professori. Yeah, well, I think I'd just uh, like you all to read your essays out aloud. The, the most, most moving experience of, of my life. life. <laughs> Not all at the same time. The most moving experience of my life by Juan Cervantes para servir. Yes, get on with it. Should I? The most moving experience of my life was when I am 14 years of old. No, 14 years old. See, si, 14 years old. <laughs> My father, he get a job in Madrid, and we all move. <laughs> Juan, I didn't mean that kind of moving experience. So, uh, get us in the Farouk. Yes, please. Uh, would you come out and read your essay, please? Oh, blimey, I cannot be doing that. Well, why on earth not? Because I'm not writing one. <laughs> Maria. Ne? Do you have a uh, moving experience to tell us about? I may have. It all depends. Uh, <coughs> on what? On whether you take me out tonight. There's a the clock. I give you a clock. That's enough. Losing our tempers will not solve anything. Mr. Brown, any luck you have? No, I'm sorry, Ingrid. I tried to tell her, but she just uh, wouldn't let me. I go and tell her. That would not be necessary. I will tell her before school ends, uh, even if it means tying her to her chair. It's a good idea. You put on a mask and steal the jacket. <laughs> we will do no such thing. That's... What? Yes, isn't you? As fat as a... Elephant. <laughs> as fat as a pig. No. Elephant much fatter than a pig. <laughs> Don't argue. So I. Ingrid. Yeah. As blind as... A man with no eyes. <laughs> as blind as a bat. Farouk. Yes, please. As thick as... Ranjit. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Jolly good. Ranjit. As ugly as... Farouk. Hey. Now, listen, you two, you're here to learn English. Not insult each other. But he's starting it. I don't care who started it. It's got to finish. Right? Monsieur. Oui? Warm as... My arse. As warm as toast. My arse is much warmer. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> Giovanni. Si, professor. As drunk as... My boss. <laughs> as drunk as a lord. You haven't met my boss. He's always drunk. Well, yes, maybe. Maria. Ne. As pretty as... How oh, English teacher. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, but the correct answer should be as pretty as a picture. Okay. <laughs> Who was? As happy as worker. No, who was? Okay. Yes, uh, all worker in China are very happy. Well, that may or may not be the case, but the correct figure of speech I was looking for was as happy as a lark, understand? Happy as a lark. 
Pump. Eh, you want me to kiss you? No. 